today we are going to be going through the recipes from the Unicorn Slime Kit from Chocha and Chicky. So, we are going to be starting with the first recipe in the instruction book, which is the basic slime recipe. So what we're going to need is one bottle of glue, your baking soda, your saline solution activator, one teaspoon that's included, mixing bowl and spoon, and then of course a container to put it in afterwards. All of these are included in your slime kit. So first, let's get started. Following the directions, take one bottle of glue and empty it into the mixing bowl. It does come with a sealed lid, which you'll need to pop off first. Make sure the bottle is completely emptied into the bowl. You don't want any glue left out. Squeeze it out. All right, then it says to take your empty glue bottle and fill it with water. And there is a water fill line. We recommend filling the water just to the top of the label here. So the empty glue bottle will be filled with water just to the top of the label line and pouring it into the mixing bowl with the glue. Take your stir stick that's provided and just stir it in a little bit. If it's easier for you to use a bigger bowl, feel free to do so. Stir that in. All right, now we take the provided quarter teaspoon and the baking soda. And we add one scoop. Into the glue and water mixture. And we stir this baking soda in until it is dissolved. Perfect. All right, now we use the same quarter teaspoon and grab our saline solution activator. First, you wanna give it a little bit of a shake just to make sure it's nice and mixed up. And we're going to fill the teaspoon with the saline solution. right to the top. All right, and pour it in. All right, now it says to stir vigorously until the slime starts to pull off the sides of the walls. So it might be hard to stir really vigorously in the small bowl, but do the best you can for between one and three minutes, depending on how fast you're stirring. We're gonna set the timer here for three minutes and see how long it takes. No, it's coming off the sides. Next, it says remove the slime from the bowl and add in one to two scoops of your favorite slime accessories. So this slime recipe is the base of all the recipes that is in the slime instruction book. So 
So let's take the slime out and add in our favorite accessories. Does the slime pass the squish test? So what we did was followed the basic slime recipe, numbers one through five, we just did. And then we can add in any of the food coloring choices that we like. You take the slime and then you fold in colors. And then we can add our glitter flakes. So we have some purple, some pink, and some blue. Alright, so we've added the glitter flakes in. So this slime is our unicorn poop slime. This consistency would be a little bit on the sticky side. So sometimes kids really like it sticky and runny and this is really like unicorn poop. If you want it to be a little bit firmer, not quite so sticky. Some things that help are adding in more accessories. We can add in some foam balls if we wanted to. Or you could add in a little bit more liquid activator, one drop at a time, one single tiny small drop. Like that. automatically it becomes a little bit less sticky comes off your hand a little bit easier and the more you play with it the less sticky it will become so you see what a big difference just one drop made so if you put too much in if you end up putting in too much activator it will become hard and your slime will break apart and that is not what we want Look at that beautiful unicorn poop.